Welcome to AfterCAD Solar Wizard. The purpose of this presentation is to show very quickly the process of creating a solar insulation mat for a, uh, a roof uh, or building or structure uh, using an architect's drawing. You start with a new job and using the measurements provided by the architect we work our way around the perimeter of the building. We'll do a simple job for today just to understand the process. We're using the measurements provided by the architect we generate a profile or perimeter. We then specify the pitch from the architect drawing and the overhang from the walls. We specify the eave height and hit OK and continue and the software creates the 3D model. We can review that in any view and we can also modify it to add architectural features such as gable ends and Dutch gables. Most architectural features are automatically created in our software from a range of tools for generating various features. Most features are a single mouse click. Once we've created the 3D model we then check that it's correct. We automatically dimension the roof, we dimension up the slope of the roof, and we can also dimension ridge to eave. Now whilst not entirely necessary for a lot of the work we do in the solar industry, this information is very helpful for verifying that the roof is correct. We'll turn the dimensions off for this example. The next thing we want to do is indicate true north. So north is uh, going to help us um, to uh, orient the building correctly with respect to north so that the radiation is calculated correctly. The next thing we do is tell the software to calculate the radiation map and the time slices to use, the location from a list of locations defined by you, the locations, whoops, let's select Santa Clara, San Jose is near Santa Clara, the latitude and longitude is stored, the time difference from GMT and the elevation above sea level. The important thing to include in this calculation is the solar table. The solar table is data, empirical or measured data for the location. You get this from sources such as NREL and others. We specify the pallet to use and the pallet size. We calculate, the software rotates the building to true north and then proceeds to calculate the radiation. In the, in the process it writes a text file and that text file can be used by other programs or it can be used to help us annotate our drawing. If we wish to annotate the drawing we specify the time, select the screen and the radiation is displayed. So in this case we're showing the monthly insulation values based on kilowatt hours per square meter for this particular location. We're also able to place objects around the building that may affect our calculation, chimneys, uh, trees, uh, other, any other objects, satellite dishes that may be um, uh, some, sometimes impact uh, the results of our job. If we wanted to do calculation for a different month, it helps if I change the legend. Let's change that to December since that's what we've done. Hit OK. So now we have the legend for December with the values displayed for the entire year and the color palette showing the level of intensity of our radiation. Well that sums up very quickly the process. This can be used to figure out the best location for your solar assets such as photovoltaics and solar thermal. Our next presentation will explore how we calculate the shadows specifically and how we report them. Thank you.